What's up guys, it's your boy Zion and I'm bringing another Destiny video. In this one, we're going to be talking about a very, very controversial issue that's been going on here in YouTube world. Um, basically, they've been demonetizing people's videos for like no damn reason. Except they actually have reasons and their reasons are dumb. But if we go ahead and just take a look at their policy on what they can demonetize your videos for, it includes sexually suggestive content, including partial nudity and sexual humor, violence, including display of serious injury and events related to violent extremism, inappropriate language, including harassment, profanity, and vulgar language, promotion of drugs and regulated substances, including selling, use, and abuse of such items, Controversial or sensitive subjects and events, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters, and tragedies, even if graphic imagery, imagery is not shown. Now that we got that out the way, it, it gets pretty rough um, because these are very, very broad in what they go ahead and encompass. They don't give specific examples of what each of these mean, and they don't say what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do and what the extremes in which they're going to demonetize your videos are in these guidelines. They basically say if you do any of this, you're at risk to be demonetized. And if you look at the things, a lot of them such as inappropriate language, I can understand harassment, but saying vulgar language, I can say fuck, and that could be a comma to me, the way I use it, and to somebody else, it is an expletive that is absolutely ungodly and nobody should ever use it. Just like there's a difference in if I am an Aussie and I say you fucking cunt, I'm, I'm just using their language, and it goes ahead and is not an insult if you're in Australia, but here in America, if I call someone a cunt, it's pretty damn bad like it's a heavy thing to drop on someone so it, it goes ahead and goes to show that there's some things in these rules that themselves they're just too broad to go ahead and actually go by but the big issue is that this has been around for a while youtube has been using these rules for months and demonetizing people's videos for months without telling content creators that they actually demonetize their videos. Now for a smaller channel where they're just starting to make their income off YouTube, this is huge because YouTube involves spending money. For people who don't make videos, there's a level of investment content creators have to put in and an actual dollar amount they have to put in, such as I have to pay for internet all my gear, such as recording devices, consoles, games, um, computers, electricity, there's a lot of things that I have to go ahead and pay for out of pocket to put free YouTube videos onto YouTube's site for you guys to watch. Now, not complaining in the least, don't mind doing it, but for someone where their sole income is from YouTube, and YouTube turns around and goes, yeah, you spent all that money, you put all that time, you wasted all this that you could have put into something else and we're not going to pay you for it. Yeah, we, we just don't agree with what you said or how you said it or exactly what you were talking about. Your views are different than ours, so you know what? Fuck you. Um, we're not going to pay you for it. <laughs> um, that's really fucked up and really, really shitty. It's the worst thing they can possibly do because by taking their dollar away from people and going ahead and taking away from specific things that they talk about and cover, it goes ahead and censors content creators. And the sad thing is YouTube is not great by itself. YouTube by no means is an awesome website without the content creators. If there was not a single content creator, YouTube would be an absolute blank site with nothing to do and nobody would use it. So by stifling the creativity and the freedom of expression that they've had for this entire time since YouTube started, they're going ahead and censoring the content creators themselves and making YouTube a less awesome place. But at the same right, they're kind of cutting down on some of the like shitter dicks who post stupid shit like fucking helicopters or the kid who has like a Spider-Man mask and has a dick clapping against his legs. There's shit like that where it's like, okay, I can understand you not monetizing shit like this. But regular videos, like they've taken down Philip DeFranco, who is a relative news channel. He covers YouTube drama and news, but they've demonetized some of his videos just because he talked about someone else 
possibly using drugs. Like, what? Like, there's not even anything bad in the video. There's nothing controversial. There's nothing that would offend people, except he's basically covering news and giving real world facts and goes ahead and his videos are demonetized. There's channels who had hundreds of videos demonetized. And it's just one of those things like YouTube wasn't telling people. And now the big issue is YouTube does tell you. YouTube tells you, but it doesn't tell you when it goes ahead and demonetizes. So you don't know if it demonetized it at a hundred views or a million views. You don't know how much revenue you've lost. And then the appeal process for it is atrocious. You can go ahead and have your video demonetized, appeal it, have a YouTube representative say it was rightfully demonetized. And then a day later, your video is monetized. Like what? <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. And there's multiple accounts of shit like this happening. It, it's just astronomically asinine, the whole system they have. And it's almost worse than their copyright system because on top of all of this, you can put in face fake claims to go ahead and get videos demonetized and say they use vulgar language or whatever you want to claim, but it'll take someone's videos down and basically make it so they don't earn money on it. It's a terrible system and is all around just censorship and why? Like why on a platform that has been for years a center for freedom of speech and a center for anyone can express anything they want? It's a free platform for people to just speak their mind and give their opinion. Whether you like it or not, you have the right to go ahead and watch someone's video, but you also have the right to leave it and never come back if you don't like what they say. This whole instance where YouTube is now trying to go quote unquote advertiser friendly when there are advertisers who can pick and choose who they want to go ahead and support. Instead of just doing a blanket, everyone has to conform to our standards. Because if you look at my channel and my channel alone, I cuss like a sailor. I do make dick jokes. I make sexual jokes. I go ahead and break several of these rules, including the inappropriate language, the sexual content, if you count my jokes as sexual content. I play violent video games that depict people blowing up and shooting people and killing people. And occasionally we'll talk about controversial things, but I won't so show images of it. We'll talk about it while I play a game. I break all these rules on almost a daily basis. And if I was a monetized channel, I'd probably get a lot of my videos demonetized simply because I go ahead and talk about real world instances and I talk like a normal human being who just so happens to enjoy cussing and use it almost like a comma. It's insane to me that YouTube would want to censor creators and go ahead and be like, yo, Either conform or get the fuck out because that's exactly what's happening. There are YouTube creators who are like, this is bullshit. I'm going to find another platform to go share my thoughts on and go bring my audience to because YouTube doesn't enjoy it, which is terrible. We should all just have a melting pot of being able to say or do whatever we want to an extent. Like I understand the borderlines, the extreme cases where videos need to be demonetized, they need to be taken down, they need to be flagged. But for the most part, content creators aren't putting crazy shit out there. They're just trying to entertain people and people get offended and flag their shit. And now we have things like this where YouTube takes their money away. And it goes back to the whole point of if you guys want to hit someone where it hurts, hit their wallet. If you take money away from a game developer, it shows you don't support the product they're making or you don't support what they're doing with the products they have. If you take money away from a content creator, it basically says shape up or ship the fuck out. Do what we want or you're not welcome on this platform. And that's a terrible mindset and a terrible business plan to have because basically it's going to turn a lot of content creators off and move over to one of the new budding video platforms like Twitter, Facebook. They're all trying to get into video and basically have the same thing. You can be a follower for free and watch my videos on a daily basis if I decided to upload to Facebook instead of YouTube. It, it's just what the facts of the world are. Like I can upload to another platform, have the same exact structure and same exact involvement but on a different platform and they won't censor me.
It, it's what it boils down to. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this issue. Do you think it's petty? Do you think that it is a form of censorship as a lot of content creators are calling it? Or do you think it's just us not reading the terms of service which they were plainly laid out in? So thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to see your guys' comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, a favorite, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Peace.